What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys an unboxing of the ZTE Blade X Max from ZTE and Cricut. Now ZTE did send this out to me for review. Huge shout out to them. I'm very excited about this phone because it's a $150 phone exclusive to Cricut with some great specs and up-to-date software. Let's just look at the specs here on the box. We'll talk about a few of the others as we do the unboxing. You got a six inch full HD display, Dragon Trail glass on the front, which is similar to Gorilla Glass, gives you some added protection. 13 megapixel rear camera, five megapixel front camera with HD video. You got a fingerprint reader that's on the rear of the device on a $150 phone, it's pretty nice. Enhanced video streaming with Dolby Audio Surround Sound and DirecTV Now. So let's go ahead and get into the packaging and take a look at the Blade X Max. You open it up here, you've got some Cricut clear and quick uh, simple start guide there. You've got the phone, let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic here, toss the plastic to the side. We'll sit that to the side for now and we'll take a look at this further in a minute. Let's see what else we got in the bottom. We've got a Cricut SIM card, it looks like some more paperwork. So Cricut SIM, product safety and warranty information, some terms and conditions. In the bottom we've got charger and a cable I'm assuming, I don't think there's anything else. Now the really cool thing about this is that on a $150 phone, you've got USB type C, which also gives you quick charge 2.0 on this particular device. So very nice to see ZTE putting USB type C on a phone in the budget category. It's something we don't see from too many manufacturers and it's one of the compelling features on this phone. So I think that's it. That's everything that's in the box. So I'll go ahead and set the box to the side. Let's take a look at the phone itself. So we've got some plastic here on the front of the six inch display and we've got plastic on the back of the phone as well, right here, just a little bit of this it does say right here, a lot of people are wondering, the battery and back cover are not removable. So removal could result in having some issues. So a lot of people were asking, I saw on some of the blogs about this phone, if it had a removable battery and a removable back, it does not. So it's got a nice blue color to it. You guys can see right there. You got the shooter there, your fingerprint sensor, Cricut branding, some ZTE branding right there. Uh, on the front, you've also got a little ZTE branding there as well. The bottom, the aforementioned USB type C port. You can see up here, you've got your headphone jack right there on the top. You've got the power button, which does have some nice texture to it. If you guys can see there, you've got the volume rocker there as well. SIM tray over here on the side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and boot this up. We'll go ahead and take a look at the software real quick. I'll come back and talk about some of the compelling features. One of the most compelling features about this uh, is that it has up-to-date Android software for the price that's very, very impressive. So I'll be right back, we'll take a quick look at the software. All right, YouTube, we're back in taking a look at the software really quick on the ZTE Blade X Max. Now the first thing I wanna mention while I was going through the setup on this particular device, the fingerprint sensor which is located on the back here, super fast to set up. It was just as fast as the one on my Pixel and it unlocks just as fast as well. So this is a very good rear mounted fingerprint sensor on a $150 phone, very impressed with that so far. The other very impressive feature about this phone when it comes to the software, which I was talking about earlier, is the version of Android that it's running. You're getting 7.1.1, and there are high-end flagships that haven't even launched with this up-to-date version of Android. The Galaxy S8 Plus that I have right here launched with Android 7.0. So you're getting a more up-to-date version of the Android software on a phone that costs substantially less. If you look at the overall software that's preloaded. There is a little bit of bloatware on here. Nothing too bad. It seems like most of the stuff you can go ahead and disable, like News Republic. If I don't want that, I can go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, let's check out the available storage here. So let's go into storage and see how much we have available out of the box. It does have 32 gigs of internal storage. It's expandable up to 128 gigs more via the micro SD slot. You can see I've got 10.91 gigabytes used. So you got about 21 gigs remaining there. Uh, the other thing is it does have two gigs of RAM, which is one of the things I'm slightly concerned about. It's got a Snapdragon 435 inside. So obviously for this price point, you're not gonna get top end gaming or graphic performance, but the 435 is a very efficient processor and combined with the 3400 milliamp hour battery that you have in this phone, you should get really impressive battery life. It's just gonna you know, remain to see how smooth the day-to-day -day performance is out of the box, obviously just running the stock apps. There's really nothing preloaded 
I mean, my own apps on here. So we'll have to see how it goes once I get all of my stuff on here, start playing around with it. Again, on the camera, you've got a 13 megapixel rear shooter here on this particular camera. I'll be testing this out. We'll see how, the, how well it performs overall. There's a lot of features in here. You've got current motor app, filter, all these other things. Just take a couple of quick test shots here in the background and we'll take a look and see. Shutter speed is pretty fast overall though. Nothing too bad. Uh, obviously, 13 megapixel sensor. We'll have to take a look at how some of the processing works, but just taking a couple shots under the studio lights doesn't seem too bad at all. So let me know what you guys want to know about this particular phone in terms of the software. Uh, the setting shade and the settings themselves are close to stock, kind of like the ZT Axon 7 that I did last year. So uh, it should be pretty similar experience to that overall. ZT's got some of their own stock apps on here, but of course you can use the Google apps if you want. Before I go, just give you guys a quick size comparison. Again, this is a six inch uh, phone uh, and that is traditional 16 by nine. So it's gonna be pretty large. It is a pretty big phone. To give you a size comparison, here's that Galaxy S8 Plus. The ZTE Blade X Max is quite a bit larger than your Galaxy S8 Plus. You can see it's quite a bit wider, uh, a little bit taller, um, and I don't know, the thickness is about the same actually. It's not significantly thicker or anything like that. All right guys, so that's my quick unboxing impressions of the ZTE Blade X Max. I'm very impressed so far. USB type C, quick charge, fingerprint sensor on here, up-to-date Android version, which is perhaps the most important thing on a phone in this price category. All right, guys, if you like the video, please subscribe so you guys can see future videos like this. I will have a full review of this and I'll also have a giveaway of this phone, which will be part of the full review. Uh, you guys can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Plus, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.